Well hey friends, welcome to an unboxing of very strange proportions. You actually joined me today right outside my center. This is where I teach, just up there. And we're on our lunch break. I thought I'd do an unboxing because I received something very special in the mail. I got these in the mail just yesterday and I'm so excited to get into them. Let's take a seat and check them out. Wow, there we go. Okay. You'll have already read the description of this video, so you'll know what's coming. These are the first figures from Halo Heroes Series 13 I've been able to get my hands on. The Elite Warlord and the Brute Chieftain. And I think it's very appropriate that these two are the first to arrive because they are definitely the most iconic of the set in my opinion and the ones that everybody are trying to army build like mad. I hopefully want at least 10 of this Warlord in my time. Brute Chieftain, I gotta have a lot of them as well. They are definitely higher ranks of the Banished, so maybe they you don't want to army build them too much. You don't just want a battlefield full of Brute Chieftains, but certainly when you take something like Halo 3, you can encounter a lot of these guys at a time. These Warlords, I would like to imagine that both of these are like stationed in Banished camps. When you think about the scale of Halo Infinite, the sheer scale, you know there must be like different levels of encampments building up to huge Banished bases, and I'd like to think that each small camp has sort of semi-bosses that you can take out along the way. So which one should we do first? Which one should we do first? Let's let's go for <laughs> this one. We got the Elite Warlord. This Elite, I have been warned that the Energy Sword is gorgeous, if warned is the word you want to use. It's so funny that they're going back to the original Energy Sword. Like maybe two or three years ago, they changed for the very slimlined Energy Sword, but they've gone back. I don't exactly know why. I thought originally it was because of the Builder's Box, because they wanted to just include loads of different swords. But now we've got the old style, and I think it's the first ever sword where we've got two colors on the hilt, on the actual handle. So that's really special. And the Elite Warlord as well. My goodness. I've said before, when I see pictures of this on Instagram, I genuinely think it's a McFarlane or a Jazzware toy. Like, the scale of this thing. If you could tell me that this is where we were going to end up when they first brought new articulation in, I wouldn't have believed you. It's so gorgeous. Look at that, it's gorgeous. I do have some issues that are progressing about the, the direction that Mega Constructs has taken Halo Heroes. I think that the more you just include generic figures, the more it sort of loses its special collectability. The paint apps are still amazing, and they are like more iconic characters, and I also respect they don't want to spoil anything from the game, but the more you just release these waves of random figures, the less authentic I think it becomes. But right now I'm looking at this and oh my goodness. It's huge, like that's huge. That is, that is a huge figure, it's a beefy boy. Look at that helmet. That helmet is the size of an original Mega Bloks grunt. It's, <laughs> it's massive. And it wraps right behind his back. When I first saw the production pictures of this, I thought it might be a bit bland of a figure in terms of paint apps, but it's got a lot to offer. It's got a black undersuit, and then the skin tone of the Elite's head is very different, I like a dark gray. We've got the yellow. It is plain, but it's got these really nice gray accents, and some of the detailing is quite exceptional. And then these banished emblems, these insignias are gorgeous. Then even when you look at the top of the helmet, it's not just one strip. It's like two little strips with a tiny thin yellow line that runs in between. So it is actually super detailed. Yeah, I, I'm very, very impressed with this figure. It's so nostalgic to have the old energy sword. And while I have said before that I'm not a big fan of these base plates, I think they were way better than when they were chunky and like four pieces. In saying that, it's very nice. I like this silver design, this sort of forerunner etching into it. This is actually really cool. The Elite Warlord is a 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> even, even like the shoulders have a hole running through. Like this is a very impressive design. All right, so that's one, we're halfway done. Let's get this Brute Chieftain out. I want you guys to let me know in the description of this video, vote for which one is the most important to you, the Brute Chieftain or the Elite Warlord. I know they are both the fan favorites. All right, so the Brute Chieftain itself, again, it's got this beautiful banished red popping out of it. It's a basic color palette, but you do even have on the chest the dark gray, then the silver, and then the red on top. Most of the armor is just silver and red, but I guess the chest and the belt are the dark gray as well. Then a dark gray undersuit, my beautiful, beautiful Craigie boy. My love for you will never die. This is the Chieftain of the Craigs. Craig Commander-in-Chief, 
Ten. <laughs> I think that makes sense. He's got sort of like knife parts that jit out here. It's very sort of sharp. And then his helmet, again, just similar to the Elite Warlord, like these massive helmets that run straight back past his actual head. It's sort of like, a, it reminds me of like a, a Moa from Halo Reach or like any kind of animal like a lizard that like sort of spikes up its its fins to defend itself. It's very aggressive. Gravity Hammer, I know this will be a big favorite amongst the fans. I can see one, two, three, four different paint apps on this. For a Gravity Hammer, that's exceptional. I would have liked a little more detail at the base, but that's okay. And then this yellow, I know this yellow is just, ah, oh, that's so good. It feels like pulsing energy is running through this hammer. It's about to smack down on some poor Marines. This Brute Chieftain and this Elite Warlord are gonna be leading my banished armies now. They are fantastic, fantastic. I know this is a bit of a shorter video and I'm still waiting for the rest of Series 13 to arrive, but I just wanted to open these guys and show you this view. I mean, just have a look around. The fact that we work here, this is actually Peggy's first day she's been transferred to my school, which is pretty exciting. We thought on our first day we'd film a video and just look around. It's, it's absolutely exceptional, the scenery around here. This is like a one minute walk from our school. Being able to like sit here and make a video in my lunch break is, uh, is quite something. Yeah, quite something. So thanks very much for tuning in today, guys. You have an awesome day. Thank you very much for supporting the first episode of the Domain Terminals. If you haven't checked it out yet, please do. It's a really fun series. Hope to be doing that every week. The Brute Chieftain and the Warlord, I can't pick a favorite. They are both just exceptional. They're signing off together.